those. So in this particular one, we're asked to um, find uh, the explicit formula. Now, the explicit um, means that it's an actual formula, an equation that when you calculate um, the number, um, you get the corresponding value. It's almost like x and y, right? We have recursive notation, which is like the previous number plus something, if it's arithmetic. Um, or if it's geometric, you're multiplying by the common factor. So we just got to look at this and see how do we get those numbers. Well, this almost looks like, see how these are factors? Whoops. So this one, there's, there's a couple of things. Um, it, it, this is not an arithmetic series because to get from 2 to 8, I add 6, but to get from 8 to 32, 8 plus 6 is 14. So it's not arithmetic. So immediately I know that this is a geometric. So somehow I've got to figure out what am I doing? Well, I noticed that 2 times 4 is 8. And that three I gotta think about this. Uh, this is like I'm multiplying by four, right? So I'm multiplying two by four to get eight, and then eight times four is thirty-two. So this has a common factor of four. And so usually what you could do is you could you could start with the first term and then figure out how many times you multiply by 4. In other words, this could be f of n. Oops. f of n. What's the first term? Well, the first value in the sequence is 2. And then you multiply that by the common factor, which is 4. But now we've got it. Usually up here you'll do like n plus 1 or n minus 1. So it's n minus 1, and here's why. If I say f of 1, then that's going to be equal to 2 times 4 raised to the 1 minus 1. I'm plugging in a 1 wherever there's an n. Well, then when n equals 1, this becomes 4 raised to the 0. 4 to the 0 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Well, that's true. But now I'm going to say f of 2. So then that's going to equal 2 times 4 raised to the 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is just 1. 4 raised to the first power is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And if we scroll down and we do f of 3, um, then that's going to be 2 times 4 raised to the 3 minus 1. Which is really 2. So then I've got 2 times 4 squared, which is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. All of those are true, right? So that's that one. Now you just basically got to do the same thing here. Um, on this next one, to get from 3 to 6, I multiply by 2. From 6 to 12, I multiply by 2. So this is also what we call a geometric, geometric series. Okay? So this one would be f of n is equal to the first term, which is 3, times the common factor, which is 2, raised to the n minus 1. So our formula is almost always going to be f of n is equal to f of 1 times um, the common factor,
raised to the n minus 1. Okay. Now on this next one, I'm going to multiply. Well, let me change the color. On this next one, I'm going to multiply 2 by 6. This is times 6 to get 12. And 12 times 6 again is 72. So by that same logic, my explicit notation is going to be f of 1, which is really just this first term, which is 2, times the common factor, right, which is going to be 6, raised to the n minus 1, and that's it. That's all you do for the common factors. Now, some textbooks will have you do it a different way where you add 1. It just depends on how the problem is worded. Because of the values that they've given you here, you're going to subtract 1. It really depends on if they start with n equaling 1 or n equaling 0. That's what makes the difference. Usually, most, most textbooks will say n equals 1 is the first term. Some, some old school textbooks will say n equals 0. Then you, then you change the formula around.